Hello, and welcome to Dig Sketch, a channel dedicated to digital sketching for architects. I'm Harvey Miller, and today I'm going to go over some of the tools and techniques I use in Morfolio Trace to sketch concept plans. So let's get into it. Today I'm going to go over how I set up multiple grids in a project like this. For example, let's say you have one part of the project that needs a certain grid, and another part which is set on another grid. What you can do is set up new trace layers. For example, I'll line this one up here. I'll zoom in so I could find some lines that I'd like to generally align my grid to. Once I do that, I could zoom out and just scale that piece of trace up, keeping the orientation of that piece of trace. So if I sketch on this, it'll be to this grid. And now I'll set up another piece of trace. And again with this, now I can zoom out. So it covers a broader area of this side of the drawing. If you turn on the ruler, now I can sketch to this side. And what I can do is now just jump between those two layers. And it works like UCS and AutoCAD. And with that, you could even turn these off and draw on a brand new layer. So you could draw on these two grids on one sheet. With this new sheet of trace, I could still have my two grids turned off, but if I click on them, my view will still orient to that view. And now I'm gonna draw on this top layer. So I could draw on this one sheet of trace on this grid, click on the other one, and I'll be drawing on this grid. And I could just go back and forth between the two. I could continue to draw on this grid. I could then continue to draw on this grid. And it's all on one sheet. This also works for the radial grids. So here I've set up a piece of trace that's oriented around this portion of the drawing. And here I'll set up a new layer. So if I turn on the protractor here, I can scale that down. You gotta be careful not to move the protractor though. Once you adjust it or resize it, you'd need to reset it. As long as you don't touch it, keep it in this location. Now you could draw on this radial grid and I could jump over to the other side where I have another radial grid, if I want to trace over this one. And I have a, an orthogonal grid here in the middle. So I could draw on this grid. I could switch to radial, draw on this grid, stay in radial, and draw on this grid here. So with that, I find that really helpful to be able to switch between multiple grids and draw on one piece of trace. So if you found any of this useful, please give it a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.